my role is to provide advice on the correct strategies and the tactics to clean the shorelines that have been oiled. Well, our, our, our primary uh, objective is to remove the large amounts of oil quickly. And, and when we do that, we allow the, the natural recovery of the plants and the animals uh, to take place more quickly. I and mean, in everything that we do, the safety of the people that are working, whether it's my survey teams or the operations, people doing the work, it's always safety first. On this spill, some of the areas that have been oiled are, are cliffs or coasts, which have high wave energy and uh, they're difficult to work. And so um, we have to be very careful going into those areas. Um, the other challenges that we always have are that the situation changes and what we see at the beginning uh, may change as the oil moves along the coast and so we're always adapting so we're always changing our uh, adapting our strategies to the one that fits best. The response by Repsol is very typical of uh, a, good, a good response. Uh, there, are, there are boats and booms on the water to contain the oil and then skimmers to pick the oil up from the water and then on the shorelines, the same techniques that we have used in other areas are being used here. We have plenty of resources and uh, plenty of people, and that's the important part of getting the job done correctly. Repsol has brought in some experienced people um, who have worked on many other spills, and that really helps develop the right strategies and the right tactics to deal with this incident.